Hi kids, it's Anne from the South Boston Boys and Girls Club. This week we have a very special holiday coming up and that's Mother's Day, which is coming on Sunday. So let's take a minute to think about our moms and all they do for us. They cook, they clean, they do laundry, they cheer us up, they love us no matter what. And now they're also our teachers and they might be trying to work at home as well. That's a lot, especially when we can't go out to the store and buy them something nice. But moms have always appreciated the gifts that we make for them more than the ones we buy. So today I want to make a simple flower basket. And so pull out all your best supplies. You'll need paper, scissors, glue, something to color with. And if you have anything special like glitter or feathers, that would be nice too. So let's get started. The first thing I wanna do is take my rectangular paper and make it into a square. So I do that by putting my finger in one corner and taking the other corner and folding it diagonally over to this side and crease it. That can be a little tricky, so get help if you need it. But again, I put my finger here, grab the other corner, fold it diagonally over and crease it. The next thing I'm gonna do is cut off this extra piece. And now when I open my shape, I have that square that I was talking about. Next thing I wanna do is take these two corners and fold them in, right on the line, about one third of the way. Do that on both sides, fold it back up, and this is going to be my basket. Now I found some fancy paper and I cut out butterflies that I'm going to work on decorating my basket, but you can also color it in and write messages on it. I'm going to use my extra piece to cut a handle. and then that's gonna get glued on like this. So now I've finished my basket and I've decorated it on both sides and I can put it aside while I work on my flowers. I made the flowers from wrapping paper and construction paper. I cut out stems and leaves and flowers. This flower is going to be three-dimensional. I made it by cutting two circles and then snipping them all the way around. Then I'm going to put my finger here, fold up my petals, and I have a 3D flower. Do the same thing for the middle. Glue it together, and I have another flower. Now I need to think about what I'm going to write on the stems. So that can be either a chore that I might do for mom, or it could be a message that I might write to her. So now I'm finishing up my basket by putting the flowers in, and I do that by opening the basket and sliding the stems into the pockets made by the folds. All done. I hope all the moms out there have a great Mother's Day.